Good afternoon. Uh, we are well into afternoon right now. Uh, therefore, I'm saying good afternoon. And uh, what I wanted to talk about, I hope I can keep this video short, um, is that I wanted to talk about the difference between local and international uh, when it comes to basically anything. And anything is uh, can be anything. Uh, business, sports, uh, academics, um, uh, useless world records, and uh, 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 in the weird and strange, and then the common and the normal and, and whatnot. So here's the thing. Um, being at a local level is like, you are locally known um, very well. Uh, it could be within your district or your town or your city. You are well known for whatever you do. Uh, typically, locals have very good ties to their locality. Um, and they represent their neighborhood, they represent the people they know and whatnot. Um, I think being on an international level is a, is a much higher thing. Um, typically, uh, with any any area or any industry or anything. Um, people do try to see if they can get local uh, or sorry, go local. Um, I'm sorry, go international. Even even music, even music. Um, you know, when you're the top, one of the top musicians, you're not just doing uh, shows in your city or, or, or your state, you are actually either going city to state, state to state and city to city all over the country, or you may even be going to a uh, whole other continents uh, to do your music shows. Um, what I think is that uh, it's not easy to go international. You need somebody, um, you, you, you need a, a, a something going on for yourself that's much better than what's going on around you. Um, but local is the way to start. Uh, the best way to begin is local and locally. Um, but the thing, and, and, and I'll be honest with you and I'll tell you, no matter what, it, let's say it's the area is business. Um, if you come up with an idea that is 100% original, 100% genuine, um, 100% workable, and then, and in every facet and asset and every aspect, uh, it is kind of way above the rest. You may just go straight to international. I know, I know that sounds odd. I know that sounds odd, but you know what? If you are, um, you know, you start up locally thinking you'll be local for a couple of years before you go international, you never know. You know, it depends on, on the strength um, and the power of, uh, and all the aspects within your idea. I mean, if you coming up with total gold on gold on gold, I mean, you're gonna go international really fast. Um, and that does happen. Um, for me, local is, 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 is well, I, I shouldn't say for me, I shouldn't uh, compare. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the thing with international, you know, you're international, when you're internationally recognized, that's a big thing. Um, and not everybody gets that opportunity. I mean, I'm thinking of nineties rappers. Uh, there were, there were a lot of rappers that, um, uh, only existed in the United States. Um, there were rappers, uh, old legends who died or whatever, who had only been existent just in New York city. And some of them were existing just between one district of New York city. Um, and then they died and, uh, and they never made it past, uh, past that one district. They didn't even make it to the whole, to the level of the whole city. The thing is, uh, if you're comp like, uh, Mob Deep, for example, was, was, was much more successful. Just easily dropped. Yeah. Look, here's the thing, right? Here's, here's what we don't know. And I'm glad we're talking about Mob Deep, but here's what we don't know about Mob Deep. We think that these guys were probably 24, 25 years old. Uh, into the gang life, and that's how they got introduced to rap. And then they started, uh, they, they, they sold a lot of drugs, they made money, they hired uh, producers and, and, and bought their way into music. Some There are guys who have done that, by the way. But 
you know, they buy their way into music and then they get popular, blah, blah, blah. It's not like that. You know, Mob Deep was working really hard from the time you didn't even know. I mean, I mean, these guys were going to special music schools, I think since like middle school. Um, the only thing is nobody knew about them. They, they, they actually even produced a music video or one or two music videos as, 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 as young teenagers or, or 12 year olds. Uh, they produce a lot of music. Uh, till this day, there's music that is unheard. Um, you know, not saying that they were ghosts, but weren't they ghosts in a way? You know, one, like I said, one advantage of ghosting is that by the time you're ready, ready and by the time you, you, you become a part, you gain a presence in this world, uh, you've gained a lot of experience already. And that's just like under the, under the shade. You know, nobody can even see it. It's in the darkness. You know, in the darkness, you put in so much work and you're you're very good and at the same time you're only at a, a at the introductory or basic level maybe going to the next level ahead of you um my point is uh, the reason i chose mob deep is because mob deep did concerts in like germany and stuff uh can, can you believe that mob deep out of new york this this black rap group uh that that raps about all kinds of criminal activities uh drug dealing robberies uh, uh murder everything um, 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 gang violence, and, and these guys are doing shows in Germany, and I'm talking about like the like cities like Munich, where 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 they are packed with the uh, the concerts are packed with people. You know what I mean? And 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 I'll tell you one one of the last reasons why I chose Mob Deep, and I I don't pre prepare anything. The reason I chose Mob Deep is because Havoc has a uh vocal uh lyric, and and hopefully I'm not off with this lyric. I may be. Uh, for the most part, uh, but it's on it's it's on his track called Hell on Earth, and he says international, you local. What he means to say is they're international, you guys are local. Uh, but but here's my thing, right? I do think that Mob Deep was ducking people, and I don't believe in ducking people. I I, I really believe that everybody uh, deserves a chance at 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 some kind of competition uh, or, or to compete at some level, you know. Um, However, that doesn't mean everybody deserves a chance. Individualization versus grouping. Grouping is a must. Uh, the fact that we've been uh, grouping since the beginning for us to for follow individualism is, is impossible. Uh, the population has grown like crazy. There are, there are like eight or nine or 10 billion people on this planet. You cannot individualize everybody. It just doesn't work like that. So the thing is that, uh, for example, if I was a boxer, right? If I was um, Floyd Mayweather and I was coming up, I'd give a chance, let's say I give a chance to, I'm thinking of, um, who am I thinking of? There, there was this guy who was supposed to be a bum, but he was really strong and Mayweather claimed that he was the hardest fight he ever had. Uh, it was this guy, he had a lot of losses, but he was really rugged. He didn't used to train properly, but he was rugged, he was tricky, it was very tough. And Mayweather gave him a shot, you know, when nobody was giving him a shot, Mayweather gave him a shot to fight, fight a top guy and he beat him. Right, I mean, well, however you want to put it, Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, whatever you want to put it to, but you know, you give somebody a shot, you know, and even if they're in the locality, even if I'm international, they're local, but I've only been international for like one week, I, I, I would like to give them an opportunity uh, so I can shut their asses up and shut their asses down in their own fucking cities uh, and, and make the whole city understand and their fans who the fuck I am and what the fuck I'm doing. Um, but it doesn't have to be finish one goal. As I'm beginning international, I love to shut down some locals and uh, continue on internationally and, and, and be on a world-class level. I do believe that no matter what I do, I wanna be on a world-class level. Um, and that doesn't mean I'm looking for fame like Mob Deep and I'm looking at dog people, no. Um, but uh, it doesn't mean, international doesn't mean you go all over the place, by the way. It could just be, you're just existing at an international level. You know, like, like, like your competition level is too high for the locality. So you're competing with like cities in like other continents or, or, or within the same continent in other countries. Anyways, I thought that uh, I, again, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna keep these sh a little bit shorter uh, so that I don't have to explain, re-explain, clarify for everybody. And I'm gonna wrap this up.